Hello, my beautiful warrior of love. This week's video is dedicated to those of you that feel you can use some support in feeling more grounded, uh, more centered, more in your power, uh, more supported, uh, everything to do with the root, but beyond the root chakra. So um, this week's video is actually dedicated to one of our fellow members, Warrior of Love, um, Luke from Australia, I believe, who had uh, reached out and sent in a request. And just a reminder, please do send in your requests in the comments below. Uh, let me know what you feel you would like a video for. And if it feels uh, right for me, I will potentially a video for it so luke says um i would love a healing video for the earth star chakra below the feet to really connect to the core of mother earth i uh, thought this would be a good idea to help people get extra grounding with all that's going on thank you so much luke for that request i'll start off by just explaining a little bit more um, about uh, the research i got uh, into this chakra, and then we'll go into doing an infinity healing to actually embody it. So the earth star chakra or chakra is not located in the physical body like most of the other chakras are, yet it still can have significant effects on day-to-day -day life. And this is taken from BeMyTravelNews.com. Um, this chakra is believed to be located about 12 inches below the feet in the etheric or non-physical body. Also referred to as one of the subpersonal chakras or as the super root, its most important features are its rooting and rounding properties. While it would seem like the root chakra itself already handles this, and it largely does, the earth star chakra goes a step further to be the anchor of the whole entire chakra system, especially of those seven main chakras. The earth star chakra connects one's personal energy and thereby all one's bodily chakras to the greater earthly and universal energies. This connection allows for feelings of grounding, stability, and well-being. So starting now, I invite you to close your eyes and this process will take around five minutes and you're welcome to do it whenever you need grounding, you're welcome to doing it. Um, every single morning when you wake up before getting out of bed. So I invite you to close your eyes, take a deep conscious belly breath. And just imagine this energy from the bottom of your feet, anchoring in deep into Mother Earth. Just imagine those giant, just imagine yourself as a ginormous tree, ancient old tree with deep, thick roots growing deep into Mother Earth and allow it to anchor you in deep into the dimension, the reality, the timeline, into Mother Earth, how it's best, when it's best, if it's best. And just continue to imagine those roots growing thick Thicker, deeper, more rooted, more stronger. Twelve. Imagine this going down below your feet, 12 inches below your feet. And even deeper. And some say at the core of Mother Earth is a powerful crystal. Um, again, everything with infinity healing, everything I do only works if it's for our highest good, when it's for our highest good. So if it's for our highest good and how it's for our highest good, anchoring into Mother Earth's root, core, crystal. If it's best, how it's best, when it's best. And my favorite prayer every morning and intention is connect me to all the perfect energies and all the perfect beings that are for my highest good and give them permission to do all that they know to do that is for my highest good, starting now. 
And then sometimes I extend that for the whole infinite universes and say, I give infinite permission for infinite beings of love and light to do all that they know to do that is for my highest good and for the highest good of all beings everywhere in all space, time, and dimension. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So clearing anything and everything in the way of us being able to experience infinite grounding, infinite stability, infinite well-being. If you like that, just say yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And so it is. And I was just talking to my partner about this process. And uh, she was mentioning how it's important to ground in uh, in different ways, right? I have a Virgo rising for me. Without this, without things to do and lists, I'm all over the place and I can miss deadlines and I can miss appointments. So actually writing stuff down is a very important grounding uh, tool for me. Waking up at a certain time is grounding. Going to sleep early is grounding, waking up early is grounding, reading a book is grounding, journaling can be grounding. Sometimes being in a pool of water, Epsom salt bath, spiritual rituals, pulling a tarot card, um, observing the sunset and rise, uh, working out, dancing, the foods that I eat, right? Um, all these things can be grounding. And then even beyond, so like what is grounding for you on all levels? Spiritually grounding, emotionally grounding. Uh, financially grounding when I when I don't, when I don't track my expenses I don't feel grounded in my finances when I'm tracking them and I know how much I'm spending where I actually feel grounded in my relationships when I communicate and talk about things that are coming up I feel grounded so you need to decide what is grounding for you in the different areas of your life uh, in the different dimensions emotional physical spiritual uh, what is grounding for your inner child what is grounding for your uh, inner teenager, what is grounding for your masculine, what is grounding for your feminine, right? Um, and, uh, and, and just knowing when you're not feeling grounded, just tuning in, being aware of it, and then knowing what, what is the thing that you're needing in this moment, uh, out of all the things you can do that will give you, uh, the best feeling. Uh, of groundingness, and it might be different in different uh, times. So let us know in the comments below uh, what's uh, the best way that you ground. And, um, you know, some people use essential oils, sometimes it's smudging. Uh, and then there's the basics, just being barefoot on Mother Earth. Uh, sometimes for me, it is to be in a pool of water, or just having a shower, the water element, earth element, fire element, air element, ether element. Sometimes if I don't do my morning rituals and connect to source God universe, I don't feel grounded. Some people it's more of an, an earth thing. Sometimes music can be grounding for me, information, connection, etc. cetera. So uh, comment below, let us know what you thought about this. And if there's any area you'd like support with, let us know and we may create it in the future. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for our membership, our Patreon membership, where we'll do some exclusive content to continue to support you on your journey. And stay tuned. We've got an amazing healing call coming up this week uh, where we're going to work on uh, past life traumas, ancestral traumas, break the cycle, break the patterns of abuse, of scarcity, of lack, of um, experiencing, uh, feeling suppressed, not in your power struggles, all sorts of stuff. And that's happening this uh, Thursday, this Thursday, it is happening at, we'll put the times below and I'll just do one conversion because I'm here in Mexico right now. So um, it will be 12 p.m. EST. And uh, all you got to do is join the Facebook group. We'll put the link below. It's the Infinite Abundance Retreat Facebook group and we'll be doing it there live. I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Keep thriving, doing what you love. Alright